for much of the acid-base chemistry that we're going to be discussing in the next two chapters. We're going to be looking at a table in the back of the textbook in the appendix, and it's labeled aqueous equilibrium constants, and I added for weak acids. So A could be any anion, like chloride, fluoride. So HA is the generic acid, and an equilibrium reaction we call means that the reaction proceeds in the forward and the reverse direction. So an acid written like this on the left, this means that it's intact, that has not dissociated yet. And the H plus, remember, is the acidic proton. So in a weak acid, we have less than 100% dissociation. So the dissociation only goes partially to the right. And these are equilibrium constants. And Ka means the equilibrium constant for an acid. On the next page, we're also going to look at a Kb for any base. So I'm just going to focus on the first page, the Ka's, when we are going to look at the magnitude of these. If we look, for example, at HCN versus HF, these are both weak acids because there is a dissociation constant associated with that. Remember, a strong acid goes all the way to the right. There's 100% dissociation, and so there is no equilibrium established with a strong acid or a strong base. So a strong acid will not appear on this uh, table. This is only for weak acids that have this equilibrium established. So hydrofluoric acid, which is HF, partially dissociates into H plus plus F minus. This reaction prefers to go in the reverse direction. And we see that uh, this is a very small number. The K value is 0 0.00064, or, oh, 68, 6.8 times 10 to the minus 4, which would be this very small number. So this reaction does not proceed very far to the right. In fact, it lies further to the left. For hydrocyanic acid, this is even a weaker acid. So uh, between these two, this would have nine zeros in the front, and that would be four nine. That's what the equilibrium constant is for this. So this is the weakest of the two acids uh, because this equilibrium value is the smallest. So that means that reaction barely goes to the right and would prefer uh, this HCN molecule does not dissociate very much. So the value of the equilibrium constant still tells us how far to the right that reaction proceeds. We may notice here on the table that there's K1, K2, and up to K3. So uh, arsenic acid has three protons on it. So it could lose its first proton, become H plus and H2, ASO4 minus. And then the second proton can come off. So that's what this, uh, the K2 or the K3 value would be. In this class, we're not going to be concerned about that. But a polyprotic acid, one, an acid that has more than one hydrogen that can dissociate, will have more than one K value for that. So the main thing I want us to see here is that the smaller the equilibrium constant, or we call it the dissociation constant, the smaller the Ka value, the weaker the acid. And that's going to be important later on when we talk about uh, conjugate acid-base pairs. And I've also, phosphoric acid might be something that we're a little more used to. There are three protons with the polyatomic ion phosphate. So the first proton comes off. This is a 10 to the minus third. The second proton comes off. This is 10 to the minus eight. And this is probably 10 to the minus 
12 or something. So again, uh, when we do a calculation, we're only be going to be concerned about the first proton coming off. Sulfuric acid, <coughs> if we recall this, this is a strong acid. It goes all the way to the right to form H plus and the hydrogen sulfate ion. So that's why under the K1 value it says strong acid. There is no equilibrium set up here. The second proton comes off, that is the equilibrium. So we can have another H plus and the sulfite or sulfate ion, SO4 with a minus two. So this is still a relatively large value. If we look at some of these values, 10 to the minus 10, 10 to the minus 11, 10 to the minus nine. So, um, but otherwise, if there, if we are dealing with a strong acid, it is not going to be on this table because strong acids do not have uh, an equilibrium set up. So a lot of times I will write a strong acid and I'll totally exaggerate this, showing this arrow goes all the way to the right. We have H plus plus Cl minus. And there is no equilibrium set up, and if we had to put a value on K, we would call it infinity. So that means this reaction, there's none of this left over, and so 100% dissociation. We're going to see that that makes it easy to calculate the pH.